know it's Wednesday Wisdom Wednesday with MPK Welcome to episode 5 of Wisdom Wednesday. I hope you're having a fantastic Happy New Year 2022 day 5 of So it's it's episode 5 of Wisdom Wednesday. It's also day 5 of 2022. And some of us have already fallen off the wagon on our New Year's resolutions. Isn't that amazing how quickly we can just break our covenant with ourselves? But God is a God who never breaks his covenant with us. Our job is to keep his commandments. Our job is to guard the covenant. So let's just study this a minute because this is what God has been showing me this morning. And uh, John, First John, John uh, was the disciple, one of the beloved disciples of Jesus. He was one of, in the close inner circle. And he wrote the Gospel of John, three Johns, and the book of Revelation. And here we are in 1 John 2. And it's a, in a letter that he wrote. And I just came across, this is my reading of the day. So that was my this morning reading. And it says in 1 John chapter 2, verse 3, it says, now by this we know that we know him, if we keep his commandments. He who says, I know him, and does not keep his commandments, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. By this we know that we are in him. He who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. Just stop there. Lots of beautiful truth in this. Now, by this we know that we know him. That deep, intimate knowledge of him. This is a relationship kind of knowledge. A deep, intimate relationship knowledge. How do we know that we have that intimacy with Christ? We keep his commandments. You see, sin is a brick wall that will always separate you from God. Always. You will not have a holy connection with God because you can't look on sin. So what we need to do is we need to confess our sin. And in 1 John 1, 9, it says, If you confess your sin, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That is the way to breach the gap of our sin, is we need to keep his commandments. And we need to be honest about our sin. Or what happens? He says, I know God. I know Jesus. And does not keep his commandments is a liar. Religious people can become the biggest liars on the planet because we've got this form of godliness and then deny the power of relationship, the power of the relationship, the Holy Spirit inside us, leading us, guiding us. But whoever keeps his word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. And that word perfected is like the idea of a telescope. Ching, 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 ching. It's perfecting, t telescoping. It's perfected in him. And that's this kind of idea of progressive sanctification where every year I make the same covenant with God, every covenant Sunday, but every year I grow in my knowledge and my understanding of what that covenant is and who he is. And it's just deeper and richer and it's so powerful. So he who says he abides in him ought himself also to walk just as he walked. And in uh, the gospel of John chapter eight, is kind of the formula Jesus set out. He said in John 8, 31, Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, if you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. It's this pattern. First, if you're abiding, abide is the idea of live. If you live in my word, you are my disciples indeed. You're going to prove that you're my disciples because you're doing what I say. I'm the teacher, you're my taught one. That's just a fancy word for disciple is meaning taught one, one who's taught. If you abide in my word, so if you're living in God's word, you prove that you're his disciple, you're his taught one, you're his follower of Jesus. And then as a result of your being taught by Jesus, you know the truth because he is truth. The Bible says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but through me. Jesus said that. And you will know the truth. And the truth will make you free. The truth shall make you free. Everybody quotes the truth shall make you free. But whose truth? What truth? What are you defining as truth? There's one truth that will set you free. And it's the truth of who Jesus is 
and your covenant relationship with him and how you're doing in that relationship. Are you in rebellion in your relationship? Are you the wandering little naughty sheep that wanders away? Keeping the commandments. That word keep has the idea of a guard, a shepherd, kind of a flock. And you, you keep it. You watch. You, you tend. You, you're, you're, you're observing. Keep. And then when you turn back, it's everywhere, all over the Bible. There's no new commandment. It's the old commandment. And, and it was right there in Psalm 25. In Psalm 25, 9, it says, The humble he guides in justice, and the humble he teaches his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth. To who? See, there's always clarifiers in the word. To such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For his name's sake. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth to such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. I just get all excited when I read the word. I just do. I wrote a song for Psalm 25, 14, and it's the secrets. It goes like this. Secrets. Do you like secrets? God tells secrets. Psalm 25, 14. Secrets. Do you like secrets? God tells secrets. Psalm 25, 14. The secret of the Lord is to those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. The secrets of the Lord are to those who fear him, and he will show them his covenant. So, do you fear him? Are you coming to God on his terms? May this year be the year that you keep your end of the bargain. He already showed us his end of the bargain and it was on the cross and he shed his blood for us. And our job now is to get in Christ. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. So let your New Year's resolution be to abide, to abide in him. And then trust in his covenantal, covenantal power to keep us. God bless you. May you have a fantastic 2022 and grow in your relationship with Christ because nothing else matters. The end. <laughs> Bye. You know it's Wednesday. Wisdom Wednesday with them.